Hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. How is everyone today? This is your girl Gaia, the Zen Libran, and welcome to my channel, Cycle Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well out there today. I hope everybody's looking good, feeling good, acting right, pockets tight, because that's how we like to rock it over here on Cycle Tarot. All right, guys, today I'm here doing a, a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Libra, my zodiac sign. <coughs> my zodiac sign is Libra. How low can you go? Can you go down low? All the way to the flow? Yeah, this is Libra. <coughs> this me, y'all. Hey, fellow Librans, you know what I'm saying? Um, of course, uh, Libras are air signs. Uh, very charismatic. Uh, very uh, have uh, great communication skills. Um, Libras are <laughs> good people. We really are. Um, we want to see everybody happy. We believe in fairness. We believe in justice. Um, we're loyal. Um, we're creative also. Um, we got our own little niche, you know. Um, we're not ordinary. We have our own little style, little stilo. Every, every Libra I know is, is kind of, I want to say, well, you would probably say weird. But I would call that unique because we have our own little, you know what I'm saying, our own little, you know, own little thing going on. You know what I'm saying? We don't. Walk and talk like everybody else. It's, it's, uh, you may say it's weird, but we're unique. We're unique. Um, we tend to, um, like I said, we're very communicative. So we tend to um, make friends uh, real easy. Um, we have outgoing personalities. Um, we're very loving. Um, we're very loyal to people that are loyal to us. Uh, relationships mean everything to us, be it... Um, family relationships or love relationships they mean everything to us uh if we're not uh in tune with the family or not in tune with our mate we could be a little off that's when we get uh, off we get tilted um we feel things aren't balanced you know what i'm saying um we are very loyal we are very loyal um but libras um they get taken a lot of times of being uh airheads i don't know why you know what I'm saying? I don't know why people would think Libras are aloof. I do know why because Libras don't pay a lot of mind to menial things, you know, and we tend to, you may think that we, I mean, you may, you could be talking to a Libra and you'd be like, where's they head at? And, and we look at you and be like, huh? Oh yeah, you'd be like, man, she a bobblehead. No, she just don't. She, what, what, you're not interesting to her, so <laughs> she don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying about what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying. She's not aloof. She just, you're not interesting. <laughs> you know, uh, Libras uh, tend to be uh, sapiosexuals, and um, that means that we are. Uh, <laughs> we love intelligence. I want to say that uh, it's actually very attractive to us. It's very, it's a turn on for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, sexually, <laughs> intelligence just turns us on. Um, we always searching for answers. We always want to know um, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, we want everything to be balanced. We want everybody to be happy in the situation. So we can tend to be indecisive. Uh, we take whiles to make a while to make decisions because we want to make the right decision in which everyone is happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's what we are. We are uh, loyal. We are law. We are justice, and we're also walking karma too. So. You want to do something to a Libra, you need to think twice because Libra is walking justice. And if you want to harm a Libra, you should definitely going to get that back ten times fold. So uh, make sure you're sure. Okay. And another thing, when Libras can be off balance, they can be off balanced. I mean, we tend to be like Tasmanian devils. You know what I'm saying? So please don't get into it with a Libra 
or uh, please don't do anything to a Libra to make them get off their axis because when they get off their axis they take it to the utmost the extreme you know I've been told a lot that uh I take things to an extreme, you know, because we're so loyal, we're so we're so true that when we're we're backstabbed, we just flip out because we're so honest and for justice that we can't believe that we gave you this good energy or we haven't did anything to you or we was good to you and, and you screwed us, you stabbed me in the back. I can't believe that and we will flip out. And Libras hold grudges. They hold grudges. Um, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Libras have great cutoff games. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing to cut a bitch off. You know what I'm saying? We, we hey, when this is done one bun, this is done one bun because loyalty is everything to us. And especially if we're good to you and you harm us, oh man, it's 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 a done one bun. You know what I'm saying? You might as well count your chickens because it's over. You know what I'm saying? So. But other than that, if you have a Libra on your team, they're very loyal. They're really good friends. You know what I'm saying? Really good friends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Libras can be hard to love because we want to make sure that you're loyal because we tend to overgive or uh, be a people pleasers. We want the people that we are, that we care about to be happy so we go over and beyond so it's hard for it's hard to love a libra because they always give you tests and everything to make sure that you are worthy of their affection before they give you know what i'm saying um but if you got a libra on your team you know what i'm saying and you true you got a lawyer friend for life you know what i'm saying if they got it you you can get it even if they don't have it just to not see you home for. If they can get it, they'll go out and get it for you. You know what I'm saying? They're just Libras. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they got a little freaky little undertone too. You know what I'm saying? Libras got a little, you know what I'm saying, freaky undertone. I mean, uh, they're not like overt with it. You know what I'm saying? They like, you know, they don't talk about their business sexual or whatever like that. But behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when they feeling you and, and it's like that. Libras can be like that, you know what I'm saying? They can get like that, which everybody should, you know, uh, you know, really get get with it with somebody that they dig, and you know what I'm saying, you know. But um, you have to get to that level with a Libra, you know what I'm saying? They don't open it up to just any and everybody. So, like I said, if you have a Libra on your team, you know what I'm saying, uh, you got a friend for life. You got a friend in me, you know what I'm saying? That's my that's my Libras. That's me. All right. And of course, this is the goddess channel. I pull from the goddess energy because we need this energy out here. Because the world is a ghetto. And they need us, ladies. You know what I'm saying? It's a sewage. And we got to be, you know, the sewage system. You know what I'm saying? So, I let my ladies take rank over here. You know what I'm saying? This is probably the only place where they take rank because women are so downtrodden. It's ridiculous. And it's, it's designed to be that way. Because the people that are keeping the women down know exactly who the women are. And um, they want to continue ruling when they are not the rulership class. Okay? So they keep the women down. But the women are up over here. Because when it's up, then it's up, then it's up, and it's stuck. You know what I'm saying? So the feminine energy that I pull from today is my girl Oba. Oba's giving us the energy of domesticity. Okay. Uh, Oba is... Um, she is the goddess of uh, protection, uh, manifestation, uh, movement, energy, restoration. Uh, she comes along to uh, inspire movement. Um... She's like the go with the flow type of energy. She wants you, she like, she's the, like I said, uh, sewage systems. You know what I'm saying? Um, she unclogs the drains, okay? So things can get moving. When things are sluggish in life, she comes and she unclogs the drain. You know what I'm saying? To get things moving. You know what I'm saying? Um, she, um, it, it may be someone who's been trying to do a project or, 
had a goal to reach that has been going slow due to uh, things, due to just life, you know. And um, she's here to unplug that drain and, and let it flow. You know what I'm saying? So uh, whatever's been sluggish, whatever's been uh, keeping someone from reaching a goal or doing a project they wanted, it's over. It's over. It's over. Because over is here. You know what I'm saying? To be the drainage and let everything just flow. You know what I'm saying? So whatever piece of shit or anything somebody had blocking them, Oba is here. You know what I'm saying? To uh, remove that obstacle or remove that piece of shit. Because, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, she's the sewage system, so she's coming to remove that. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is something that somebody uh, takes to heart. You know, home is in the heart. That's why the energy, she's giving off the energy of dom domesticity. Because whatever project or what goal somebody was trying to reach, um, they took it to heart. It means a lot to them, you know. Um, and Oba's like, I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna, I'm finna take you home. You know what I'm saying? So uh, keep that in your heart. You know what I'm saying? And, and go with the flow because it's finna happen. Because I'm here to remove all the shit that was in your way. Okay? So it can flow. All right? That's my girl. Oba. All right? Uh, she's protecting someone's manifestation. Whatever someone manifested. Uh... It's been going off sluggish, but now it's finna open up and flow like water. Okay? And the message here is nature. Um, the soul family, the angels, the spirit guides, Mother Earth, uh, Father Sky, and the ancestors, they want someone to go out in nature. You know, it's time to stop staying at home all the time. You need to go out and be in nature. You know, when you uh, spend your time out in nature, you get a lot of answers to things. A lot of things are revealed. You know, you can do all the worship and the communion that you, you, you can at home. You know what I'm saying? But if you are uh, into the elements and the crystals and uh, you know the magic of the land, you need to go out there and be in that magic. You know, so uh, go sit in the park and get some sun. Stop being in the house all the time. You know, uh, whatever's been holding you back, it's it's uh, it's flowing now. Okay, so go out there and sit in nature and get all the answers you want, and just look at nature and just breathe it in, because nature loves you, and it wants you to show them some love. Okay, all right. We have power of my voice. Number 28, bring it down to a 10, which is the beginning of a new chapter. Okay. Um, it says, I speak my truth and express my feelings to others with care and compassion. All right. Um, you, you're being honest now. You know, you, it's a new chapter of you being honest and uh, speaking your truth. You know, um, you know that you don't have to be... Um, um, mean, uh, cursing and all that good stuff to get your point across, you know, um, people that, that do like that and, and talk like that, they're not intelligent. So they lash out because they don't have the words to, uh, communicate what they're trying to express, you know, but, uh, your, your crown chakra is open, you know, uh, someone may want to, uh, come and um, profess something to you about some emotions um, and you're going to be honest with that particular person okay um, you know the power of your voice you know about the power of your voice and um, so you, you, you know if if you want to be rational, um, you know if it's warranted that you need to be compassionate. Uh, you know the power of your voice and the tones and the frequencies that carry. You know, so you're going to try to be uh, compassionate with this particular person. 
you know, but you're going to speak your truth, you know, and express your feelings, okay, um, and try to show a little care, even though you may not, you know what I'm saying, but you're always going to be compassionate, okay, um, but just recognize the power of your voice, so you may not want to talk so rash, okay, um, or you maybe you just want to listen. And if you feel that energy, that negative energy arising, um, just check it and notice it. And be more caring and compassionate. But let your yay be your yay and your nay be your nay, okay? You gotta be aware of the power of your voice, okay? All right. We have the mirror guardian here. Okay. Um, it says take time to reflect. Okay. Okay. Um, take some time to reflect on your strengths and your challenges and how you've, how far you've come. You know, it's time for you to recognize your gifts. Okay. Um, if you look at the picture, it's a female angel. That's looking into the mirror of life. You know. Um, the mirror is inviting her. Uh, to witness. Uh, their their spiritual strength. And their beauty. The angels want this. Wants this person to see themselves. As they see them. Okay. They want them to realize. Uh, how far they've come. And how strong they become due to circumstances and experiences that they went through. You know. Um, um, you may feel whooped, basically. You know. Uh, you may feel beat down because, man, when you're going through an attack, uh, it's deep. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it is war torn on your body, your mind, you know what I'm saying, and your spirit. But look how far you've become and, and notice that you have these gifts that helped you fight your way through this attack and realize how strong you are. Don't think of yourself as being menial or minute because you definitely aren't. Because you have to realize the battle that you've come through. A lot of people wouldn't have made it through. And the angels are clapping and they're proud of you. And they want you to hold your head up high and look at yourself as they look at you. You are an angel. They're like, you're one of us. You know what I'm saying? You need to know this. You have the gifts as we do. You know, you need to know this. You know, take some time to reflect and look at what look at what you went through. And you came out of that. You know what I'm saying? You came out of that. So, um, don't think so low of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, use your self-talk. You know what I'm saying? I am great. I am divine. I am abundant. Because you are. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't talk so down on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Talk the good talk. Talk what you are. Which you are the shit. So walk around and say, I am the shit. I am a conqueror. I kick that ass. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of things that you need to be saying. And those are the type of things the angels want you to say. You know what I'm saying? So take a look mirror. Take some time and reflect and look at yourself. Look how strong you are. Look how beautiful you are. Come on now, this is you. So be you. Look at yourself as we look at you. Look at yourself as God look at you. Oof. I got chills, y'all. I got chills. You know what I'm saying? And this particular person, whatever goal has been sluggish in their life, whatever project has been sluggish in their life, Oba is here to make it flow. You know what I'm saying? And whatever project or goal that was, you're going to have blind luck. You're going to have money falling out of your pockets because you're worthy. Because you've been through this war, you've been through this attack, and you're worthy of it. So talk yourself up. Realize the power of your voice. You are a healer. 
the power of your the power of your voice and the things that you have to say they heal a lot of people so use the power of your voice on yourself that's 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 what i be preaching here on this channel ladies you know what i'm saying talk to that inner goddess inside you because you are a goddess you know what i'm saying tell yourself how beautiful you are tell yourself how strong you are give yourself some depth you know what i'm saying because you're worthy of all this abundance that you're about to get because oprah has protected your manifestations you're worthy of all that. Okay? So get up. You're a strong, beautiful angel. Okay? All right. Listen to your intuition right now. Listen to your discernment. You know, the full moon just passed, uh, which the full moon, it, it, represents, it represents the divine feminine. It represents that divine energy. You know? So, um... Your intuition and your discernment is on point, you know, and uh, with this full moon that has passed, uh, this particular individual has ended a cycle and a new cycle is going to begin. Okay, all of her manifestations are coming into a reality right now because Oba protected him. Okay, all right, we have. <coughs> Rock star, party like a rock star, party like a rock star. We have the number nine here. You see, she's changed into a butterfly. She's transformed. Look at her. Uh, crown chakra is open. You know, um, the number nine. Uh, the number nine uh, represents age. You know, and knowledge. Okay, this is a, an experienced person. This is not a little girl. Okay, so she has some age on her, you know what I'm saying, and and um, with uh, experience, you know what I'm saying. Age comes with experience, and with experience, experience you do, you you have knowledge, you gain knowledge because you lived life, you know what I'm saying. Um, so nine represents the age of knowledge. Uh, uh, nine comes into your life when. Um, you have a suspicion, exp uh, you know, you have a, it comes into your life when you, um, like I say, lived life. You know, you have an, a, a sufficient expression of life because you lived it. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you know how to take charge of your destiny. You know, um, you've matured. You've matured and you've learned a lot of things out of this experience, you know. So you have sufficient knowledge to express things to people and tell people about things, you know what I'm saying. Give them advice about things because you've gone through it, you know what I'm saying. Um, you're not that person that you used to be. You're not that young girl that you used to be. You're a grown-ass woman now. You've matured. You're a rock star. You know what I'm saying? And don't apologize for that. Okay? Um, you are uh, able to create. You are a daring dreamer. And whatever you dreamed, honey, your manifestations are protected and your manifestations are coming into reality for this particular feminine. Okay? Uh, she's a rock star. And she's a daring dreamer. You know what I'm saying? Um, she, you know, whatever she created in her dreams and in her manifestations is coming. It's coming. Oberdon took the shit out the drains, y'all. And she letting it flow. Okay? She a rock star. She's transformed. She's matured. You know? All right. Okay, this person knows she can give some advice on uh, situations because she done been through them. You know what I'm saying? She a grown-ass woman. She not a little girl. You know what I'm saying? So, you better ask somebody. <laughs> you better ask somebody. And I feel a girl. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have... Positive moving forward. Okay? 
Um, you got the number eight there. You know, the number eight always denotes prosperity and abundance. Um, it's your efforts that you have gotten that have gotten you to this point. You know, like I said, she she put in that work. She put in that work. She put in that work, and now uh, she's moving forward toward the sun. You know what I'm saying? And she's moving forward toward uh, prosperity and abundance. I hear you, girl. You know, see, people just look at uh, empresses and divine feminines, and they just want to be them. And you, like, you know, I'm gonna give me a T-shirt or make me some coffee mugs or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a personal one. And you know what it's gonna say? Bitch, you don't know my life. That's what I say all the time, y'all. I be like, bitch, you don't know my life. You know what I'm saying? People see you driving a nice car or uh, living nice or, you know what I'm saying? They want to be you or hating on you or envying you because what you got. But, bitch, you don't know my life. I'm worthy of this. I worked hard for this. I put in this work for this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, being an empress is, is not easy, y'all. Being a divine feminine is not easy because you have people and things coming from you in each and every which direction. But you prove yourself worthy and the divine's like, there you go. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing, okay? Um, an opportunity uh, could be suddenly coming up with an offer uh, for an apprenticeship, okay? Um, so if there are areas of passion that uh, you try to manifest into your world, you'll have ample moments to share them with others, okay? Um, this particular person wants to share her happiness and her success with others. You know what I'm saying? That's that Libra energy. Libra always want everybody around him to be okay, to be comfortable. She's happy. She wants everybody else to be happy. That's this Libra energy, you know. So someone uh, may be uh, embarking on a new job, you know, um, or uh, maybe working alongside someone, you know. But whatever is going on, things are going to change. This is going to be freedom for this person, financial freedom for this person. And things in this person's life is going to change. Um, this person is going to have financial and material changes in their life. And they're positively moving forward. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Gone Libra. I hope that's me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I deserve it. Because I done been through the storm. Because these people out here, woo we. You know what I'm saying? But then people don't know what they be dealing with. So make sure you sure next time, people. Okay? Make sure you sure. Because <laughs> this is the real thing over here. You know what I'm saying? This is the real deal. See, a lot of people don't know what they be dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And be looking stupid in the end. You know what I'm saying? Of course, this is my love, this deck. My favorite deck. I always say that. Uh... This is the hoodoo deck. And we got the ace of coins here. See what I'm saying? Um, this feminine is going to come into an inheritance or receive money or uh, receive gifts. You know, um, um, this person uh, can be embarking on new financial or career opportunities. Uh, this person is going to get blessings. This person may win a lottery or, you know, this person is uh, going to get rewarded for um, their hard work. You know, um, they finna get money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, their health is going to improve. You know what I'm saying? This person is going to have a happy new beginning. And it's going to be windfalls that's coming in this in this feminist life. You hear me? Um, all type of good omens. All her manifestations is coming true. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this person is going to have a great support system, too. You know, they're getting a slice of the pie. They're getting a slice of the pie. Here they got the whole damn pie. You know, they can hand out slices if they want to. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a happy day for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Can you feel a brand new day? You know what I'm saying? A whole new world. You know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling that. And I'm feeling that. Okay? Um, we got the, the daughter baskets here. 
okay? We got the Daughter of Baskets here, and when the Daughter of Baskets come in a reading, um, good news is coming. She's a bearer of good news. Um, the person that's getting this good news, she's charming, has a great personality. She's creative. She's loyal, has great communication skills. So this is right on point. This is the Libra. You know what I'm saying? And this Libra is finna get good news. This Libra is finna get paid. I don't know if it's gonna be an inheritance or lottery winnings or or uh they finna get honored with a with a with a good job or, uh it's it's finna it's finna go down in this Libra's life. You know what I'm saying? And a tower has happened for somebody else. A tower has happened for somebody else. Okay, maybe the piece of shit that was uh, stopping, that was making whatever goals they were trying to get sluggish or, or whatever project they was trying to do, they were slowing it down. So whatever piece of shit she unclogged out the drain so things can flow, maybe that's who the tower is, is happening to. You know what I'm saying? I hope so because they deserve it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, a tower is happening to somebody, um, people. You know what I'm saying? Like, people just don't realize they're going to reap what they sow. You just can't do bad shit out here to people and expect uh, not to get uh, that karma back. People don't understand universal laws. You're going to get that karma. You know what I'm saying? Especially if no one is bothering you and they living in a purpose and trying to work on themselves. And, and here you come trying to stop what they're doing. Being a piece of shit that's clogging up the drain. I mean, seriously, people, you know what I'm saying? You deserve everything that you get. This feminine deserves this. You know what I'm saying? She's worthy of this. You know what I'm saying? And um, this full moon has ended, you know, this cycle. What was the full moon on the 13th? Yeah, the full moon. Um, <laughs> divine feminine energy is in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, uh... Y'all leave these divine feminines along with y'all hating ass. Find y'all something to do. And if this is somebody for me, you looking stupid over there. Because uh, I ain't just ordinary. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about all Libras. I'm just talking about me now. I ain't just ordinary. And I know you feel my steel. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't play that. You know what I'm saying? You want to battle with me? If you want me, come get me. How the fuck you gonna take me? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fight your ass. You know what I'm saying? Especially like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't mess with a Libra. You know what I'm saying? If a Libra is loyal and true to you, don't get a Libra off balance because the Libra can be like a Tasmanian devil and we go to war with your ass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just this, you know, so if, if anybody um try to get some smoke from me okay i know you heard over there because my ancestors don't play that shit you know and i ain't did nothing I, I don't even know what's happening to you you know what i'm saying but if you brought something toward me my ancestors kicked your ass i know they kicked your ass because they don't play you know what i'm saying i got warriors i got a goon squad you know what i'm saying this in the spiritual realm you know what i'm saying so uh next time you go out here trying to mess with somebody and you don't know about make sure you sure because i ain't the one I ain't the one to fool with, but I ain't got to uh, convince you of that door because you already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so enjoy your ramen noodles over there and your Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you probably got to get rid of the dog because you can't afford to feed it if you, if you brought some smoke toward me. Okay? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You figure deal me? <laughs> okay. I ain't the one, you know. Somebody out there jealous. What you jealous for? There's a jealous girl in a town. Hey, girl. <laughs> Why are you so jealous? I mean, you had your chance. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. I don't know about nothing about the new edition. You know what I'm saying? That's the first half. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I love her. That's the shields right there, boy. That's the Johnny Shields at Grandma House. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Grandma Tootie, love you to death. Or I pee. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
try to hold you up because they jealous, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, my ancestors don't play that. You can't hold me. Get off me. You can't hold me. Get off me. You know what I'm saying? That's the any given Sunday sweat running all over my chest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. May look ordinary, but now you know I'm not. <laughs> if, you, if you brought some smoke my way. You know what I'm saying? Bring you to reality. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, universe. What message you got out here for my Libras? What's happening with us, universe? What's happening with us, Father Sky? What's happening? Somebody having a tower. They done already went through the tower. Damn, see, if that's my ancestors, I know they came and flipped the house upside down if you brought some smoke toward me. And look, I don't even know it. I'm over here chilling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better leave these Libras alone. That's one sign you don't want to fuck with. I swear, y'all. You know what I'm saying? What you got to say out here for the Libras? Mm -hmm. What is going on? Hmm. Let me put these cards down. I'm up here looking at the cards. Knowing I need to put all the cards down before I look at them and stuff, you know. I hope everybody doing good out here today. You know, the weather been good, y'all. Y'all been getting out to the park and, you know, and, and in the water, you know. I want to go down to a lake. Y'all know I ain't never been to a beach. I ain't never been to a beach. I was just telling my sister that, you know, she in the military. She been everywhere. And we like, we need to go to the beach. You know what I'm saying? Get next to that water, man. I think I would just love that. My son would love that. You know what I'm saying? You know. Well, me and my sister, we go on vacation. We go on vacation, baby. You know what I'm saying? We be broke coming back because, you know, we plan because we spend money on our vacations. I don't understand the people. If you ain't got no money and you ain't spending stuff, you, what you going on vacation for, man? We like to eat good, drink good, shop. And I'm a Libra, you know, that's what we do. That's what we like to do, you know what I'm saying? I got to like to bring stuff home for everybody, you know. But, uh... I need to get to a beach, y'all. I ain't never been to a beach. I need to go. All right, y'all. Oh, somebody see through the illusions, y'all. Somebody seen through somebody's illusions. Okay. Somebody is a manipulator here. Well, they tried to manipulate somebody. And, it, and, it, and they couldn't. Because they see through that bull. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let me look at the cards, guys. Get the download from the universe. And I will definitely break it down for you guys. Give me a few seconds, guys. Hmm. Hmm. You got a king of pentacles out here, y'all. Um, Virgo. Uh, Capricorn. I just got a little funny thought in my head just right now. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Taurus, uh, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, this person is nasty. <laughs> Hey, y'all, I'm a grown-ass woman, but I still be blushing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm such not a whore. It's ridiculous. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I blush. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> These men still be making me blush. I be like, oh, what? You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, <laughs> but, uh. I just had a thought in my head. I'm looking at this 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 person put a thought in my head, and uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. But uh, <laughs> this is a person that uh, probably uh, uh, this person is a uh, married. Okay, uh, this person is an individual that uh, probably owns his own business. I mean, this is boss energy right here. Uh, this person is materialistic, though. You know what I'm saying? But they're very good with money. 
you know um this person um didn't want this uh libra to walk away from them you know what i'm saying and this is a uh, heavy for this person right now you know they can't take it this is burden this is a big burden from this per for this person that this libra walked away from them you know what i'm saying this is somebody that they were dealing with in their past and uh somebody walked away from them eight of cups that ass and um this king of pentacles energy didn't want them to walk away um this person is sick you know this person is having some health problems and um they feel that they can heal themselves uh, by uh, being in this Libra's energy, you know, by uh, getting energy from this Libra, they feel that it will bring them out of, uh, bring them out of the cold. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to feel rejected or abandoned by this Libra anymore. I don't know what they, you know, I don't know what, okay, like, okay, this is a divine feminine. Well, they look look at this person as a divine feminine, and they feel she has divine energy. And they feel um, that her divine energy will heal them. You know what I'm saying? They want to heal the situation with, with, with her, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, they want to be in a relationship with her. You know, they want some stability with her. They want to grow with her. They want to move with her. But uh, this Libra is not going to reconcile with this person. You know what I'm saying? Um, this, Like I said, this person is very passionate about this Libra. And they want to do something in the worst way. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was, I was blushing. Because um, I had this thought going through my head. You know what I'm saying? It's this... Um, one particular person, um, well, I blush all the time, but it's just one particular person um, that was in my life that made me blush all the time because he's just so nasty. <laughs> I mean, I won't say he was nasty. It's just that he was like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, you so, you so mannish, you know what I'm saying? And this uh, masculine is mannish here. Um, it could be a cancer. This person uh, has a porn addiction. You know what I'm saying? And this person wants to uh wanna give Ramrod to this leader boy, Libra boy. They wanna they wanna <laughs> they wanna do some things. Do thing, do thing. This person is managed, you know what I'm saying? Um they love this Libra. Wow, they love this Libra. They actually wanna be in a commitment with this Libra. They may even wow, um Give this Libra a ring, you know, but this person is immature. This person is emotionally immature, and they know they are, too. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're kind of afraid to express uh, their feelings to this particular Libra. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, they want some of that energy. And, you know, they want some of that energy. You know what they want to do. But um, this Libra, she's uh, she ain't messing with them. She ain't dealing with them. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is immature. She's not dealing with this person. She's not going to reconcile with this person. Um, this person is sick. Um, this Libra notice knows this person is sick. You know what I'm saying? This person got caught. Uh, they didn't even tell this Libra that they were sick. You know what I'm saying? They could be sick health-wise or they could be sick in the head. You know what I'm saying? A deranged individual or both. They could be deranged, sick in the head, and sick health-wise. You know what I'm saying? But whatever the way it goes, they got caught. You know what I'm saying? Because the Libra knows the truth. Okay? The Libra knows the truth. Um, and this is a heavy load for this masculine. Um, water sign. Um, looks like cancer here. Um, I'm seeing this person is very immature. This person is very immature. Um, and they... Uh, they want to give a love offer to this Libra, you know, uh, but they're afraid that she's going to reject them. They don't want her to reject him. You know what I'm saying? But this Libra, she ain't no fool. She knows what's up with this person. You know what I'm saying? And um, she's not caught up like she used to be in the past, you know, with this person. She didn't see this person for what he was. Um, she was all caught up. You know what I'm saying? She didn't think of this person as being manipulative, deceptive, a liar, a cheater. But now she sees this person for what they what they are. And this is what they are. A manipulative, a liar, a cheater. You know what I'm saying? Deceptive. Like to play a lot of mind games. And she sees this person for what they really are. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't even caught up on them no more. That's why she left, walked away from this person a long time ago. She probably stopped dealing with this person eight years ago. 
Okay, because she's not no fool and she's not caught up on this person anymore. Um, this uh, this person was uh, doing um, magic on this Libra. Uh, was doing love spells and um, like I say, this was probably the piece of shit that was trying to stop her goals or stop her project or whatever she was trying to do. But yeah, this is a person that's immature over there doing magic. Probably was doing to stop this person's goal to keep this person from moving forward in life but Oba has here to uh, bring back the flow and get rid of the piece of shit that's been clogging up the drain which has been this person this person is very immature you know what I'm saying this person has spiritual gifts but they use them for the wrong reasons you know what I'm saying so whatever spells they were trying to do uh, it didn't work you know, it didn't, this, this person still sees them for what they are. So they probably was doing chaos and chaos magic or stopping this person's money, stopping this person's flow from moving forward, uh, trying to uh, get this person emotionally caught up with them like they used to be in the past, but it didn't work. And um, this person has justice because this person has got caught. You know what I'm saying? And they want to want stability with this Libra. You know, they want to move in a house with her, but she's not dealing with him. She's not dealing with him. But this uh, Cancer really wants to talk to her. But he's emotionally um, immature. Emotionally immature. But he wants to talk to her and confess his love to her. Aww. And Cancers are so romantic. They're so emotional. Um, and so sensitive. You know, that's hard for a cancer, especially a cancer, cancer masculine. But uh, obviously, this Libra has penetrated that uh, hard shell. And now he all smooshy and gushy in the inside. You know what I'm saying? But there's one part of him that ain't smooshy and gushy. Because he shows coming toward this Libra and he want to hit that. He want to hit it bad, too. I seen... <laughs> I seen the little... Uh, <laughs> I seen what he wanted to do in my head. So he, he he got me blushing. He's so nasty, I swear. <laughs> He's so nasty, you know, but this Libra ain't mess with him. Because he over there doing magic on her. I mean, trying to stop her from moving forward. I mean, jealous. I mean, come on. Wherever this Libra put her time and energy into to move forward in life, why would you try to stop that? And then you want to sit up here and you want to say you love her. But that's how you love, Cancer? That's how you treat somebody you love? You stop them from moving forward. You put a spell on them. But see, I see why you put a, the love spell on them. Because you're emotionally immature. You don't know how to show your feelings as a man. You know what I'm saying? So you want to, her to come to you and be in love. Because you don't want to show your feelings first. That's crazy. That's crazy. Don't go through life not showing um, how you feel about somebody. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. Now, this, this Libra, she gone. She finna be rich. And he looking stupid because if he would have confessed his love, what, eight years ago that she walked away, it could have probably been different. But now he wants what he probably could have had. I mean, he never knew. I mean, you know, but he was scared to be rejected. But you don't know if you would have been rejected. See, you living in the lane of woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, when you wouldn't have no shoulda, coulda, woulda, if you would have just reacted. If you would have just listened to your heart. That's what you got to do, y'all. Love is not logical. It's not logical. You know what I'm saying? You can't pick the person you be with because it looks good on paper. It don't work that way. You have to follow your heart. That's what fulfills you. Okay? So, this person is, is too late because this Libra ain't messing with him. She don't care about him no like she used to. She ain't no fool. She know this person ain't shit. She know this person ain't shit. She know what this person has been trying to do. And look, he the king of pentacles over there. He's stable, can be a good husband, a provider, a protector. You know what I'm saying? And she finna be rich. This could have been a power couple. But because he was being immature, 
you know what I'm saying, and couldn't express his feelings, she gone. She gone, Cletus. She gone. She's not finna accept no love offer. Because you, you have to have a little empathy here. You have to put yourself in her shoes. I, she didn't know that you cared about her. You never told her. All she, all you gave her was manipulation and deceit and cheating and lying and being deceptive and mind games. So that's all she know from you. She don't know the love from you because you never showed her that. She just know all the bullshit. So she's not going to be with you. She feel like messing with you is like is being a fool and she's not no fool. She's not no fool, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you want to heal the situation, but I think you're a little bit too late. And this Libra is not going to have sex with you. She's not going to have sex with you, even if you come with her with a ring. You know, because you, you, you go by people's actions. You know, people can tell you that they love you all day long. People can tell you that they hate you all day long. But if they don't show you that they hate you, or if they don't show you that they love you, you go by their actions. And your actions toward this Libra was all manipulation, deceptiveness. You know what I'm saying? Lying, cheating. You know what I'm saying? Mind games. That was all you showed this Libra. She don't know what you had revealed. Don't nobody know that but you. So she can only go by the experiences that she had with you, which was all bad. So why would she go back to a bad situation? She don't even have those feelings for you no more because you stumped them out of her. You stumped them out of her with your lies and manipulation. Maybe if you tried to show some love or something. Because he's sitting up here in love with the damn girl. And because he's so immature, emotionally, Im immature, emotionally immature, he couldn't even tell her. You know, he couldn't even tell her, so he put love spells on her, y'all, to try to make her come to him. That is so weak. But see, this person immature. This person is immature. Now they want to follow their heart. It's too late, and this is a heavy load for this person. This is a heavy load for this person. Now he over there sick. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't dealing with him. You know what I'm saying? She ain't dealing with them. And a Libra, she would take care of somebody when they sick, especially if, if, if it was loyal and you true and she cared about you. But a Libra ain't fucking with you if you if you sick and, and, and you done did her in. She don't give a damn. I'm telling you, she don't care. And I can speak from experience. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't mess with my brother. And I love my brother. But my cutoff game, hey, you do something wrong to me, it's a, it's a, it's a rap. Wow. And he feels um, my presence, he's my absence of my presence in his life. I don't play that. You don't do me wrong. I don't give a damn who you is. You know what I'm saying? So I know how this uh, person feels. You know what I'm saying? And she gone, man. She gone. This Libra ain't coming back. You know, I'm a Libra and she gone, dog. No matter what you do, I don't care if that's five carrots. Well, five carrots, I don't know. <laughs> five carrots, that probably make you change your mind or something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, JC, they rock on your fingers like a tumor. You can't fit your hand in your new purse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, come with that five. You know <laughs> Nah, y'all, I'm just serious, for real. But no, uh, five cards, hey, hey, that's a, that's an investment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, I'm cool, y'all, I'm cool with my one and a half card on my finger, I love my ring, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> Shit. I love my little card and a half, y'all, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, you know. But, um, she finna celebrate. She got the whole pie, not a piece of the pie. She got the whole pie, you know what I'm saying? And she got good news coming, and she ain't finna, her focus is not finna be on you, Cancel. Her focus is not gonna be on you. You're a little too late, man. You're a little too late. But if you feel you need the need to get that off your chest, you know what I'm saying? Make you feel better, let this Libra know how you really feel. You know what I'm saying? Go on here because 
spirit telling this Libra, watch the power of your voice. Watch the way that you talk. Uh, speak with people with care and compassion because this must be a Libra that'll break on your ass, that'll flip on your ass. You know what I'm saying? So spirit telling her, don't do that. You know, um, yeah, that's a Libra. We'll flip on your ass. We'll break on your ass, especially if you been a piece of shit and try to stop our progress. You know what I'm saying? She will straight break on your ass, but, and Spirit knows this, so he telling her just to chill and listen and with care and compassion because this person is emotionally immature, so hear him out. You know what I'm saying? And, you yeah, know, and Spirit got to tell the Libra that because we'd be like, man, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is you calling me for? Or what the hell do you want? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we Libras don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? We be like, in that way. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, don't do that. Don't do that. Have some current compassion with this person. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and do what you feel, counsel. You know what I'm saying? Put some burdens off of you. But, uh, you know, uh, it ain't going to happen, bro. It ain't gonna happen. It's it's a done one button, okay? Yeah. Yeah, this a boss bitch. You know what I'm saying? So you sitting up here and you the king of pentacles, you are responsible, take your ass to work all the time, probably start your own business. You know what I'm saying? You like nice things just like she do. She just that labor energy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably have so much in common. You know what I'm saying? You a boss. She a boss. And you sit up here and waste the time. You know what I'm saying? She walked away from you eight years ago. You was feeling her all a long time ago. And you never said nothing. Y'all could have probably been married, had kids. You know what I'm saying? She's a boss bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just two boss energies. Y'all could have been a power couple. Y'all could have been Jay-Z and Beyonce out here, dog. But you want to be a little wuss. You know what I'm saying? And to hide behind your stick thinking that you could sex somebody to get them to fall in love with you. It's not like that, dog. Only, only weak women fall for sex. You know what I'm saying? Real woman, women don't. And remember that next time, counselor. When you come across your next woman. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know what I'm saying? Sex, you know what I'm saying? And, and man, I'm telling you. And what if it's mental? It's mental with a divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? Because you think you got something between your legs. What you think she know what she got between her legs? Yours ain't on top of what she got. You know what I'm saying? So y'all both got the got got the got the shears niggas between y'all legs. So what make you think you could come at her like that, dog? You have to come at her with your heart. And now you fucked up, you over there tripping, can't sleep because you wish you would have told her. And y'all could have had a happy life, dog. And now you over there miserable. She's being gonna be happy. Now you over there miserable. In a marriage or something. Uh, you know what I'm saying, or you know what I'm saying, could have been a good husband, but look, man, she know, she know you, hey, you're not mature enough for her, dog. This is boss bitch energy here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, man, yeah, you're a pleasure seeker. I see you with your wing -a ding in your hand. I see you. Want to come over there and rock the boat? I'm looking at you. I feel that energy. I see what you want to do to her in my head. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about that, dog. And you're very materialistic. It's not all about that. It's, 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 it's okay to you know, have nice things because, Libra, we like quality things. We like nice things, but we're not finna go kill for it. We're not finna marry somebody just to have nice things. That's not numero uno on our plate, on our list. And I'm feeling that it is for you, masculine. It, it, you know what I'm saying? You, you took to materialistic. You need to be more emotional. See, that's your problem. You're a pleasure seeker. And you're trying to seek some pleasure. You're trying to get in, in, in you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you let me. <laughs> I'll teach you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the intro. Come inside. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know nothing about that. That's old school R&B. You know what I'm saying? The 90s, nigga. I'm telling you the 90s. You know what I'm saying? But you're a pleasure seeker. You know what I'm saying? But you're seeking the wrong pleasure. If you, it's, it's, it's pleasure being in love. 
You know what I'm saying? What Trey Songz told you now. Sex ain't better than love. Sex ain't better than love, baby. And you seeing that now. You know what I'm saying? And you just, just Libra turns you on too. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to... <laughs> baby, ooh. You sick. Ooh. No, 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 no. Like I say, this Libra ain't no fool. You got HIV, dog. You dirty. You dirty. This Libra ain't no fool, man. You want to sleep with this Libra so bad. You want to give her a disease. You want to take her life because yours is ending. You was the one that was out there sleeping around. This Libra don't sleep around. And you want to give her HIV. You feel that her energy, her divine energy, is healing and it will heal you. That's why you don't want to be rejected by her. So you dirty, man. You dirty, man. That's dirty, man. You know what, y'all? You know what I'm saying? These people like this that know, knowing they have HIV and they're sleeping with people, they need to be locked up for attempted murder, man. Because this is crazy. This person wants her energy to give her a disease. I see this person is sick. And she caught this nigga. She know he's sick. She know the truth. She know the truth. This person is sick. Mm, mm, mm. And want to sleep with my Libra. Want to move in the house with my Libra. Wants a future with my Libra. <laughs> or what little future they have left. He want to take her out of here with him, y'all. This person dirty, man. This person is dirty, man. I don't even want I want to hurry up and get out this energy. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, and he, you know. Ah, spirit is telling this Libra, you deserve better, baby. This person is sitting up here trying to, you know what I'm saying, give you some HIV. You probably finna get some news from somebody. Somebody's going to come and give you some type of message or something to let you know that this person has HIV. And they let you know that you deserve better. They know that this person is trying to sleep with you and you deserve better because this person has HIV. So this is the good news that's coming towards you. Yeah, that's good because you didn't even know. This person trying to do you in, man. That's this piece of shit that was trying to stop your goals, stop your project. That's this piece of shit that over, over is uh, unclogging, you know. That's, that's crazy. This fly is getting on my nerve. That's crazy, man. You deserve better than this Libra. You know what I'm saying? See, I know this is not me. You know what I'm saying? Because this person would never be able to get HIV toward me because I don't sleep around. When I'm with somebody, I'm with somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm feeling myself. <laughs> this Libra feeling herself. She feeling herself. She done been through war. She done been through the storm. The angels is like you an angel too. Look at yourself like we look at you. Look at look in the mirror. See what see what obstacles you came through. Seeing how strong you is, how beautiful you are. You know what I'm saying? You know, the divine is so divine because they want this Libra to speak to this person with care and compassion. And care about their feelings, even though they trying to give her HIV. So, you know, the divine had to come in and tell this Libra because we'll, be, we'll snap because she know that he's sick. Tell him to get your hiv ass away from me. You know what I'm saying? But the divine is like, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Even though this person trying to take her out, you know, the divine like, hey, you know what I'm saying? This person is sick. This person is sick in the head. And this person is sick health-wise. Because only a sick person would try to get somebody HIV, man. But he feels that this feminine will heal him. Can heal him. <laughs> but 
but she's feeling herself. She's not trying to, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't blame her. She see through the illusions, okay? And he's sitting up here trying to, you know, <laughs> put magic on her. You know what I'm saying? So she could be in a relationship with him. To live out his last part of his life. When he, that's, that's the only reason why he want to be with her now, because he's dying. And he want to possibly kill her too. I mean, it's just terrible. I, you know, I just want to get out this energy. I don't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person is, uh, is really bothered that they can't give this this feminine HIV. I mean, he want to hurry up and run to her and sleep with her. I seen him. I seen him running toward her. How passionate he is. How he want to, you know what I'm saying? But he's sick. And this is the piece of shit. That Oba is unclogging y'all. This stank ass water sign. Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. Mm, mm, mm. Well this is what I have for you today Libra. You know what I'm saying. I'm sorry that it went this way. It started off good. But this is the reality. This is what somebody is trying to entrap you with. Okay. And this is another... Example of self-love, ladies. Although this cancer loves her, which this is a warped sense of love, he may come with the five cards. But you got to love yourself. And she's followed her intuition and her discernment. And she's not a fool. She knows what's up with this masculine. She knows this masculine is sick. So she gave herself less self-love. And she escaped. HIV. Okay. Self-love conquers everything, ladies. So love yourself. And use your intuition and your discernment because that is what the Father has given you to protect you down here on earth. So use it. Okay? Use it as this feminine has. I mean, when you have psychic abilities and you look into a person, you can tell if they're sick or not. You can look at them and tell if they're sick or not, have a disease or not. I know I can, you know. Um, all right, Libra, this is what you have. Be careful out there, Libras. Just don't open your legs up to everybody. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Because you got people out here like this. They feel they're going. They want to take you with them. Okay? Or try to use your, your divine energy to heal themselves. They kill you but heal themselves. All right? If you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please share it with them because we need some healing out here. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The channel is growing and I'm ecstatic. You know what I'm saying? Um, use your discernment, ladies. Use your intuition. Because these men out here, they on some bull. You hear me? Well, until next time, guys, I love you all. And know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.